dancing, dining, drinks, dominoes. A day in Miami's Little Havana doesn't disappoint. It's like a piece of Cuba. Our guide, Zaralise Diaz of Urban Adventures Tours, grew up in Cuba. She takes great pride in this neighborhood and her native country. The Hispanic population of Miami, most of them are Cubans. The people that live here help to build the city help to make Miami is right now, no? And also keeping Little Havana in the Cuban way, well, it also helps as an immigrant, no? When you move from your country to a, a, a new place, but you have a, a little piece of your land, no? The locals gather at Domino Park, where it feels like home. Dominoes for us is passion. It's like baseball. It's part of our culture. Every time you see a group of Cubans in a party, we play dominoes. We love dominoes. If you play and you learn, you will love it more. But you have to play. Across the way, Cuban cuisine. So now I want you to try some of my favorite Cuban meal here in Old Havana restaurant. Oh, and here we so have, good. yeah. So here we have the famous Cuban sandwich. What is your favorite? Pork. Pork, is that yeah. what I'm going into first? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What does it taste like? Spices and rich. Latin, Cuban. Latin, Cuban. It tastes so good. I'm glad you okay. like it. So good, I gotta go into something else. Are you ready for some salsa moves? Are you ready for some salsa moves? Yeah. Something? Well, this is Ball and Chain Bar. And okay. We're going to have a mojito here. Okay. You can leave a little Havana without a mojito and some salsa. So this is the place for salsa in Little Havana in Miami. People teach you how to do salsa, or do you just we, have to know? Locals, we teach You're gonna you. You're going to teach me. Yeah, sure. Bow, bow. <laughs> Without missing a beat, Orestes took on a new salsa student, and the rest is history. <laughs> to wrap up our little Havana tour, cigar rolling. Shana, this is Vilma. She's Cuban. Hi. She's a cigar roller. She's an expert. She used to work in a cigar factory in Cuba for a really long time. When she moved to Miami, she continued doing the same thing. What is so special about the Cuban cigar? The quality, it's amazing. You know, so many centuries of farmers growing tobacco. Mm -hmm. And it's everything that is behind, you know, all the, the cigar culture. Oh, you make me want to try a cigar. I took a stab at this art form. and a rich reward at the end with some help from the authorities. You want to light it at a distance. You don't want to go full on because that can change the flavor of the cigar. It can actually make it bitter. Have you ever smoked a cigar before? No, okay. never. Do not inhale. Okay. You just draw in the smoke, and you, favor, you just kind of savor the smoke in your mouth a little bit, and then you puff it out. All right, well, thank you, officer. I think I prefer the Cuban coffee. Nighttime falls on Miami. We are here on the city's iconic Ocean Drive where things are really starting to heat up. Take your pick, the nightlife options are endless. Our choice for the evening, Mango's Tropical Cafe where the dancing is nonstop. club scene isn't your thing, stop at Juvia for dinner with a view. We're a restaurant, first and foremost. We're not a club. We are a restaurant. Uh, you can come here and still talk amongst people and have a good time, enjoy yourself. When people come up to enjoy the view, the food, and the whole dining experience that we have here. And we're on the ninth floor, and we are one of the last places that actually is able to have a rooftop, a beautiful vibe, and a beautiful energy here. Back to Little Havana, and you're walking to it. Look jam-packed in there. It was so much fun. It was two hours long. Food, culture, <laughs> art, shopping, you name it, it was all there. And what I really loved about it, you felt like you were stepping outside of Miami mm. into this special little place, and everybody was so welcoming. You saw me playing dominoes there with the people. None of them spoke English, but they were, come on, join mm -hmm. me. And I was introduced, as you saw, to Cuban coffee, which I never had before. Have you? I uh, know. It is so good, and there <laughs> is that kick to it. <laughs> 
<laughs> Help the uh, cigar yes. smoke <laughs> get cleared out too, it I'll seems like. I'll stick with like. the coffee. <laughs> Up next, Shayna leaves her mark.